Good morning, friends. Today is a really special day in the church. It's called Palm Sunday. We are in the last week of Lent, preparing for the Feast of Easter. It is very soon. And you might get to see this or get to be part of it, but on Palm Sunday, we remember something that happened at the beginning of Jesus' last days on earth when he was going to the cross. We remember that he processed into the city of Jerusalem. I wonder if you know or remember what that word means, process. It means to walk in a very uh, beautiful way, usually maybe in a line or a group of people all making their way, they process, they go forward towards something. So Jesus was in the midst of a procession towards Jerusalem. And we've talked about Jerusalem before as the place where Jesus died and rose again. And today on Palm Sunday, we think about Jesus's entrance into Jerusalem. People were waving palm branches. You know, you might get the chance to do that at church. Or maybe you could find a palm branch or something like a palm branch to wave at home. And people were shouting, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. It was, I am imagining, loud and of excitement and joy. It's an important part of the story, but it's also the beginning of a story that has many other parts that we will think about this week. And we will think about all throughout Easter, the wonderful, mysterious gift of love that Jesus gives us through his death and his resurrection on the third day. If you get to be at church tomorrow or you, or today <laughs> and you get to see Father Jason and Father Preston, they will be wearing red. We think about red in our song as being part of Pentecost, don't we? Uh, and it is. That is the main thing that we use the color red for in the church here. But on Palm Sunday, we also use red. So you might see them wearing red. And I put some red on our prayer table so that we could remember this special day together. I wonder when we think about the story of Jesus' love for us, what we might want to say to Jesus. We have spent many days preparing for Easter. Maybe we've spent them feeling happy and sad and Maybe we've been frustrated with friends or family. Maybe we've been bored or impatient. Maybe we've gotten to go back to school or we're still waiting for it to be safe enough to do that. But I wonder as we come to the end of our preparation and we think about celebrating, what we might like to say to Jesus about all of these things. Thank you that you are the good shepherd. Thank you that your love brought you into Jerusalem. Thank you that your love brought you to share a special meal with your friends that we still get to share together. Thank you that your love brought you to the cross and into death and into the resurrection on the third day. And thank you that you're, you share your love with us all the time. Amen. Oh, friends, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to celebrate Easter with you. 
and I pray that you are well as we enter this holy week of preparation and of thinking about these big things, these big mysteries. Know that I miss you, and I, I am hoping I will see you so soon.